This time the quick speed shot, I'm fixing the hood on the double A doodle bug. I've got some clearance issues here. The, the hood gap's super tight on the cowl. It's actually overhanging just a little bit and hitting the cowl here. Um, like I've said, I think I said before, I've got this front end dialed in as much as I can without, you know, there's a little bit of movement here because there's no cowl sides on this and all that. And the radiator I got kind of where it is. So the easiest thing to do is just to take a slice out of this hood and, and shorten up this gap just a little bit. So I've laid out a little red line here on the side of the hood. And I'm going back to where my gap is good, like an eighth inch of a gap back here. And I'm just going to pie cut it and take a slot out with the with the uh, cutoff wheel and then just suck the edge of this hood back and then weld it back together in here and just open up this gap so it's not hitting the cowl because I don't want it to... If I just leave it like this, it's going to knock all the paint off here and look, look bad. So I've got to do about a 10 inch slice on this side and then I've just got to do this lower portion on the driver's side. Um, and then the hood, sh hood should fit fine. I'll grind it all down. I'm going to DA all the, the rust and all that back off this, shine the top of this hood up real nice. And then I'll take it off and paint it. And uh, it's going to be a little wavy. It's got some damage on this side. I uh, straighten out the best I could. I, I'm not going to put any filler in the hood. I'm just going to leave it as is. It'll be a little wonky, but you know, this is just banging around the yard for fun. So we're not doing show quality body work here. Just want to get some paint on it like in the old days. So I'm going to go ahead and slice this and then we'll fit it up and make it nice. Oh, somebody's here. Okay, so I've, I've gone, I've cut the slit in the hood here and I uh, almost got my finger with a sharp piece of metal. So now we can see the gap here is good. It's uh, behind the blue tape, but I've got an eighth inch clearance now pretty much all the way across. So I'm just gonna take the welder and I'm gonna hold it and like tack it here and then just work it around and tack it and then weld the edge of this hood back up. And I've, I've done a little slice from here to here on the other side just to clear the firewall there. All right, so I got the seam all welded up here. Check this gap out. It, uh, it's nice, just a little bit over eighth inch all the way down through here. So it's, it's good, it won't, uh, won't chip the cowl anymore. So the next thing I want to do is see down here, uh, the lower hood sides, the, uh, hin the hinge portion is broke right off down here and this is all wrinkled up. And I'm not going to run hood sides on this because they'd stop here above the frame without the splash aprons on it and all that. So it's staying open. So what I want to do is I got some three quarter inch wide flat stock here. On the inside of the hood, I'm going to weld this to the inside of the hood right below the body reveal line here. Uh, plug weld it through the outside and then trim all this off below here so this will stiffen up the edge of the hood and it'll it'll take you know, a little over an inch off the bottom of the hood so the hood will end here and it'll look a lot nicer a lot cleaner um, I won't have this big hang down lip it'll cut all this damage off so I'm gonna do that on both sides and then uh, It'll clean this edge up a lot nicer. It'll look, it'll look kind of like a 32 Ford style hood that just had a short lip on there after the bead. And I'll, I think it'll clean this up a lot nicer. So I've already marked the other side out. I'm going to mark this side out here and then uh, and drill a bunch of plug weld holes, weld the strap steel to the inside, and then trim this off with the grinder below the steel and uh, grind it flush. And then uh, we'll have a new edge on the edge of the hood. I'll grind all this down too. And then we'll see what it looks like all uh, fitted up nice. And then there'll be time to DA and paint. Like you can see here, I drilled a whole bunch of holes in the, the hood for uh, plug welding. And here's my uh, three quarter inch flat stock. I went and I sprayed some primer on. I ground up here a little bit and sprayed some primer on in between here. And this is going to, I've already uh, pre-cut my outside line here and here so I can line this up the inside where it's got to go. I'm just going to clamp this in place here then I'll shut the hood and plug weld from the outside then simply have to take the cutoff wheel and cut along the top of this uh, one up here cut along the top of the strap and cut this off and just grind it smooth and that'll be a new edge on the hood. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up Oop. line this up to the cut here and the Right about there. Oh, it moved already. Dang it. Oh, 
the I'll just put a few more clamps on here and then I'll flip it over and I'll plug weld it closed. But you can see this will this will stiffen up nicely along the edge here. So there we go, I got the hood closed and I got it um, clamp closed here and sucked down here where it's got to go to make sure I didn't want to have any twist in it so I wanted to make sure it was closed properly before I welded this on here. So I can just take the MIG welder and just plug weld in all these holes and that'll attach that piece of flat stock there and then I'll just take the whiz bang and I'll cut off the bottom edge and it'll have a nice well one inch three quarter inch one inch straight edge there it'll be nice and solid and the hood won't flex around and it'll uh, clean up this overhang and look look pretty good and plus cut all this damage off here all right bam how's that look you got that trimmed off in the ground it's real smooth down here nice plug welded on I just got this clamp down to hold this down but this this looks a heck of a lot better you can see it took off a little bit over an inch you know it used to hang way down here and this was all damaged I think it I think it looks a lot better um, it looks a lot better this body line doesn't look so long down here and it it really cleans it up and you made a little change but it really makes a big difference so the next step is I'm going to weld up the other side and I'm going to grind all these welds down and then get the hood and primer and paint. But I'm glad I did this. I was thinking about it and I wasn't going to do it and then I'm like, you know what? It needs to be done. I'm glad I did it because it looks a lot better. And this side, the uh, hinge is still good so I'm going to save this piece up in the attic with the rest of my Model A hood so I'll have a, a good repair piece if I need to put a hinge back on a passenger side hood which usually they are broken on that side because that's where the carburetor and the is in the fuel bowl and all that so it'll give me a good piece of save on which would otherwise be not used on this hood without using the side panels all right this side's all ready to weld up i got it all clamped up ready to go how's that look it ground up real nice so you can see uh, here is that lip welded on the inside can you see that yep got the lip welded on the inside here so that's nice and steady or firm so uh my next step here is I need some way to latch this hood down. And what I've determined is um, I want I got some uh, quarter inch pins here. There's an old screw hole that's not used here. I'm going to drill through the hood and through the cowl and this pin is going to slide through the hood and then the cotter key will go through on the inside or the, the pin will go through on the inside to hold this. So the hood will close down so all you'll see is a little end on the pin will be right here in the hood um, like that so you'll just close the hood and then there'll be a hole here go right through and then put the uh, put the uh, hairpin or whatever this is I want to call it there will be on the inside so you'll just see a little pin like that and then on the front side we're right here where the upper bolt is for the radiator sh shroud I'm going to uh, make a little sheet metal tab with a hole in it that will come up at an angle up here and where that wherever that lays out there'll be a second pin right here in the hood so there'll be two pins on each side and they'll lock this thing right down uh, so it won't go anywhere so i'm going to lay out the rear ones drill those and i'm going to fabricate my front pins for that and then i can take the hood off and uh, prime and paint it the rear pin goes right through there and uh, seals in there pretty tight and it's it's got it's got a nut cert behind it so it's thick enough or won't crack then this front one here, I just made a, uh, a little sheet metal tab that bolts right onto the front radiator mount for the grill shell. And the pin just goes through the hood like that. And you close the hood and pin it down. And it's good to go. So that was awesome. That, that's going to perfectly hold the hood on here. And it's real simple. So I'm going to take the hood off. I'm going to prime it and paint it now. All right, bam, here we go. Check the paint out. I'm going to lay my... Uh, homemade body shop here. I got an exhaust fan working and uh, I've laid down two coats of green already and I'll put one more on it and this thing should be good to go. It's a little wrinkly over here. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Probably not. But it'll be good enough. Like I said, it's good enough for the doodle bug. It's not that wrinkly. And then there's some other damage and rust pits and stuff in there. But it's going to look good. It's going to be green and it's going to be tight in. So the hood looks good. I'm really happy with it. It's a little wonky, but that doesn't matter. It looks perfect on the doodle bug. It fits the patina of the whole truck. 
So I'm happy with it. It's green, it's all one color, it matches. So I'm gonna call the hood done, and I'm gonna move on to button things up, because I got the show is in two days, and I got to get this thing ready. So I gotta hustle on, do some other things, but that'll be in the next video. But in the meantime, there's a circle right there on the headlight. Go ahead and hit that subscribe. I'm putting out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So tell your friends, hit the bell for the alerts. And as always, we'll see you again at the Quick Speed Shop.